Hey there, everybody. I'm CSB Dolan here with CSB Rise, bringing you day four of the New Eden Open 2. We have about as good as a German ski lesson in red versus Rampage in blue, and this is a loser's bracket match, so only one team's going to make it out alive. That's absolutely right, and German ski lesson coming off of a match earlier today. Played once already. They've brought a golem with two Dominixes, and then Malediction, two Incursus, two Merlin. Rampage just gone to three Dominixes, skipped the Golem, and they've used the extra points to get some electronic attack frags. So they have Hyena carries. They've also brought Logistics. They have two yep. Inquisitors. I think that is a really strong piece of like uh, setup for them, having yep. that option. There's no Logistics, of course, on the German Ski Lesson side, which doesn't matter too much for the Golem, but does matter for the Dominixes. Yep, and it's also the double Frigate Logistics, which is going to be much harder for the two Dommies to clear off the field immediately. If that was like uh, an Oneros or something like that, that would that has the potential to be alpha immediately off the field. Yeah, and we're underway, so we'll have to see. I think that's a, a really key point to see if they're able to get those Inquisitors down um, right at the beginning of the match. Whoa, Incursus Whoa. down. <laughs> Incursus to so Dami we'll alpha, I guess, but uh, Hyena and Kerry is already damped out first. That's strange that they were able to get locks before. Uh, before yeah, those it is a little weird targets. that the Carries didn't get damped. Uh, he may have not damped the right. Oh, he didn't damp anything. That is kind of strange. Took too long uh, assigning his his drones. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll have to see what the second target is. There is, of course, um, sentries out, guards for Rampage team, and yep. uh, curators. They're trying to pick on these electronic attack frigates first, which might be a smart move. Uh, they need to make sure that they are... Uh, uh, hyena down. Yeah, there That's we go. a strange. That seems like a strange choice to me. I don't know how much difference those ships actually make. Well, the thing is, with only two dummies and then only T1 frigates, you don't actually have the lock range on almost anything other than those two dummies. Here we go. Now they're uh, German Ski Lesson putting their damage onto that first Dominix for Rampage. Yeah, I don't know where the... Th we saw that Incursus had cleared off, and then there has been no damage since then. Yeah, they're probably shooting at something they can't track, is my guess. That's usually, like, when we see sentry uh, setups that look is, like they're doing nothing. Is there anything that Dominixes can't track, though? There is. <laughs> A Malediction. Uh, that is true. An Afterburner Malediction would be hard for them to... <laughs> we have there the carries going down. So with the Hyena and the carries off the field, this is actually evened up on the support wing side. Uh, we still have those three battleships on each side. They're going to have to brawl it out eventually. Uh, uh, but the Dom is cap catching Inquisitor reps. But those Inquisitors are damned, so they're going to have to slowly move in. And if they make a turn at any point, there's a, all, all the chance in the world that the, those two Dominixes could just wipe one off the field in an instant. I mean, I guess. They can pretty much just orbit 500. You see Merlin taking damage now on the and side. I feel like they are using all the Dominix DPS to try and kill support, kill Merlins and Incursuses, which seems really odd to me. I would think they would just want to go for the Dominixes. The Dominixes have no support. They're trying to, but the thing is, they're trying to clear off damage. all the threat to their reps is, I think, the thought. But there. they can't even... Yeah, that's true. That's true. They can come in and kill the reps. I was going to say, yeah. they're not threatening in an E-War way. I mean, they can damp the Inquisitors, but they can just orbit 500 on the Dommies mm -hmm. and rep them and mostly be fine. I mean, they could get unlucky and get caught by a hit from the Dominics, but they can probably tank the Golem. But what they're concerned about, the reason they're shooting the German Ski Lesson support is they're concerned that the orbit at 500, it, a Merlin's going to come and web them and then the Volley's going to land on an Inquisitor yeah. and snap it in half. That's true. It's true. They... The support for, like, the um, German Ski Lesson support is threatening, and they are kind of teasing in. They're not actually diving in for tackles, but the Malediction and the Incursus are both close-ish to those Dominixes and those uh, Inquisitors, teases. and it's not surprising, I guess, that they feel threatened by those ships. Um, Meanwhile, this Dami, it's been looking like it's about to break at any point here. Yeah, it's I think tanking, that's just but only just. I think that's just as the dams switch between Inquisitors, Maybe one Inquisitor is not repping, so it's only got half reps at that time, but they're always getting it back on. You can see there some damage landing on uh, War, War God's Inquisitor. War God, a very uh, long-term veteran pilot for the alliance, for in terms of tournaments. Uh, same thing with Starfleet Commander, the other logistics pilot for Rampage here. Uh, but now they're just, I think they're just trying to win the support where it, they can secure their Inquisitors, because they know the Golem won't do any damage to them. Uh, the Dominix's damage can be mitigated as long as those Inquisitors are not tackled. And then if the both Inquisitors stay in, I actually like Rampage chances against a no-logistics German Ski Lesson. I just think so many of the choices here are strange. Yeah, boundary violation for... Um, that is the... That was the no, the Malediction. Law, it was the, the German Ski Lesson Malediction boundary violated. Okay. And yeah. the curse is going low now on the German Ski Lesson side as well. Uh, that Dominix is getting close to breaking. That uh, QU... Uh, um, piloted and no damn pressure on the Inquisitors. That's pure damage. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think the damage have actually mattered too much. I mean, the, when the Dominics have started taking a bunch of damage, the Inquisitors just head into mm. really close anyway in rep. And he is pretty much breaking. I really think Rampage ought to try shooting a Dominix on the ski lesson side. I really think that would work out well for them. <laughs> yeah. Well, with no with no logistics on the uh, on those dummies. Right. All that damage counts forever, basically. And uh, they're so worried about the support. They're like switching between Merlin and Incursus and going back and forth. They feel super threatened by those ships. Just really wanting to protect their logistics, but their logistics is not even enough to yeah. to get this Dominix to tank uh, all the damage they're facing. It's yep, so he's strange. He's into structure now. You can see here the Inquisitor can just orbit it absolutely as close as it needs to. Damps are uh, you know completely ineffective, and there's mm -hmm. no tackle diving in. I could see them switching you know if they need to. Mm -hmm. Uh, if something actually just dives dropping in and webs those real quick, and yeah, just but clearing it. That's not happening. They really need to think about trading back a battleship and there goes some damage finally onto the Dominix of the German ski list inside but <laughs> it's so late <laughs> yeah, Rampage super is losing late. a Dominix now wow yeah I mean, that's going to be the match there he goes two Dommies versus a Domi ah, Golem that's, that's so pretty simple strange. match I, I'm just shocked that they I, I, it's not shocking that they would want to take out support early but it's surprising mm -hmm. that they wanted to stick with it for, for so, so long, long yeah. especially because their Inquisitors were not actually under much pressure and especially when they can snap right back if, if the, the, like, there look wasn't at how really fast this Dominix is going oh he, he does have local reps he's going down so fast though sorry to, sorry to we've said this but watch Rampage come back because <laughs> <laughs> actually so if the Inquisitors stay up and they, this Dominix doesn't die if they kill the other Dominix first yeah. maybe reps start holding yeah I like actually don't think that's out of the question at all. I think that they're in such good shape because of having the Inquisitors that it's completely reasonable that they could kill uh, Dominix, even this out, and then be way ahead uh, for the second Dominix kill and then just ignore the Golem. Their big obstacle now is time. They only have four minutes. And they need to kill two Dominixes yeah. to bring the points back to even. Uh, I don't know. I just I kind of want them to lose because of how weird of a decision it was. <laughs> <to not. laughs> You're just a fan of German ski lessons. Uh so nothing really changing. You can see the... Um, Why are there no target painters on the German Ski Lesson team? There's three Dominics there. <laughs> yeah. Why the, didn't, no, why there is a painter. They're painting the Dominics. Yeah. No. Why is the Rampage, oh, the, other the way. three Dominics team, have no target painters? They were probably on the Hyena. Yeah, the Hyena. Derp. Which died. Uh, well, he shouldn't have bound me by... Oh, no, wait, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have gotten shot. Yeah, he shouldn't have gotten bad shot. Bad decision. Getting Dying is usually a bad decision in the New Eden Open. The Dominix was real low there on armor. Like, there needs to be some cap pressure here or something. Like, uh, these, I, I'm still just focused on the fact that the frigates in this fight don't matter at all. Like, the support on the German ski lesson side is completely abandoned getting anywhere near the Rampage team. They're just sticking with their own team. Mm -hmm. They're not anywhere close at all. Um, so they're not really not a threat at all. I don't know if that... You know, wasn't the case earlier. Uh, it really never looked like the Inquisitors were under much pressure. Three minutes left. Three minutes, and they're not making any progress. Their damage is too low now to even break the local tank on this Dominix. Uh, eventually, he may start to hurt for cap. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. start like, to break, but... You need, to, mean, you need to, at some point, make the call where it's like, we're going to dive your Dominix. And, like, there's something in the high slots on this Dominix. Hopefully, there's some newts. But there needs to be some sort of cap pressure here. There's no way for them to alleviate cap pressure on this princess. He might have a cap booster, but uh, other than that, he's going to be in big trouble if he starts get taking a bunch of cap pressure. And the golem probably, well, never mind. I lied. <laughs> but the, the German ski lesson will have just as much cap pressure there. I mean, he's tanking just fine. They really, really needed their third Dominix when they went to this option. I mean, they needed to have their full amount of DPS available when they were trying to break these battleships. I mean, he's just tanking them. I Who mean, they knows? knew they wouldn't be able to break the Golem, <laughs> but the Dominixes should have been easy enough to just chew through based on pure damage. You can see there Blue Melon sneaking up on the back of Seldarine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just there. there's a huge swath between the two of them. And nobody's closing it. And I mean, uh, at this point, German Ski Lesson is happy yeah. to just survive. They don't. Exactly. They need to keep pressure on so that the other team has to work harder, so they don't get to, you know, use, I don't know, any <laughs> extra resources. There's really nothing they have available to use. But they're just happy to sit back, make sure that the tank is um, holding up as long as possible, and they'll be fine. And they're actually looking at breaking the second Dominix now. Yep. Um, they showed that they can break the first one even with Inquisitor reps on it the entire time, and that's the case again. Uh, this well, one. Golems hit pretty hard. Just having three battleships, that's yeah. that's enough, apparently. I really think, though, that you know if they can break this one, even with Inquisitor reps, think of what Rampage could have done against the German Ski Lesson Dominixes, which did not have reps. They mm -hmm. would have gone down pretty fast, I think. Yep. Uh, 
I don't know. Just a really, really strange match. Only a minute left. Not really a lot that can be done here. Yep. The Dominix is going to fall. God's Cold Blood is dying. Is there dying. he is. Yep. Yep. So German Ski Lesson wins again. And Rampage out of the tournament. This is a former Alliance tournament champion, not yep. New Eden Open tournament champion, but another uh, really high caliber team going to be exiting here. All veteran pilots, Mo yeah. Lester, Starfleet Commander, War God, God's Cold Blood. Such a strange way to uh, leave the tournament. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I, I often think that when this kind of thing happens, there's a piece of information we're missing or some um, strategy that kind of didn't occur to us. But there's, no, there's no strategy that doesn't occur to us. We know everything. <laughs> there's literally, we've never missed a single detail in any tournament match ever. But like you said, these these are really smart guys, veterans. I, I'm sure that... No, I think, they, I think they were on the same line of thinking that I was and just didn't switch fast enough. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me like they needed to switch. I actually don't mind the idea of them starting out on the Dominixes if they do go for and Inquisitors. That's the match? I know. Not to make. <laughs> you guys can't see. Bro's making faces at me. Don't worry okay. about it. Go ahead. Roll, uh, close this out. That's the match. Uh, Rampage leaving the tournament. About as good as a German ski lesson. Two for two today. Uh, we'll see you back in the studio in just a few seconds.